Okay, gang, speeches are due by Friday, November 3rd. So these are your persuasive speeches. You do need a visual aid for these speeches. So the easiest way to do a speech presentation on a video with a visual aid is to record just like this. So record on your PowerPoint presentation. So use PowerPoint and record your video. Now remember, you have to look at the camera. You can't look at your notes. So don't be looking somewhere else and recording your video. You have to look at the camera. So you have to know your speech pretty well. There is a way to have a teleprompter above your PowerPoint. By all means, use that if you can, but don't look like you are reading. I want you to present. To review the criteria for your persuasive speech presentation. So this is where you have to craft an argument. This is not a motivational speech. Those are, those are next. You need to understand that it has to be a proposition of fact, value, or policy. So you have to choose one of the three and then make your argument. You have to use outside sources and you have to document your sources both in your speech and in your outline. So make sure I'm hearing your sources in your speech when you are presenting and I'm seeing your sources in your outline. So whatever you choose is fine. Oftentimes, I did want to give you a little piece of information. Oftentimes, students make a proposition of fact, value, or policy for this speech, and then they do a motivational speech that also continues with that same concept. So you may have a proposition of value that cardiovascular health is a, a, a positive thing, and that we should strive for cardiovascular health and people with cardiovascular health tend to live longer, more fulfilled lives. And then in your motivational speech, you could make a motivational speech for adopting a diet that leads to uh, greater cardiovascular health. So that sort of connection you are certainly allowed to make. and. That means you can use your, you can double dip on your sources, right? You can use your sources for this speech and for your next speech. So you aren't reading as many articles and doing all that research again. You don't have to do it that way, but you can do it that way. Okay, so proposition of fact, value, or policy. This is a five to seven minute speech. You also need to have um, sources. You need to have an outline. You need to have a formal outline and you need to have uh you know, speaking notes that you use. And those are not the same thing. Remember, your speaking notes cannot be your professional complete sentence polished outline. Uh, so make sure you have both. They do both need to be turned into me on Leo. So you can turn in your video, your uh, professional polished outline, and then your speaking notes. Okay, so let's continue with criteria. So in your introduction, you have to uh, identify and state whether it's a proposition of fact, value, or policy. You have to have three distinct arguments. So you're, again, three distinct arguments. If you are using the formula, you have your three main points, right? Uh, you do, in this case, want, you know, Maybe one of your arguments is to identify and uh, um, discuss counter arguments. If there is something that is counter to what you're saying, or if there is uh, other evidence out there that is fictional or not supported, but it is out there, uh, you have to speak to that. Remember, we talked about this relating to your credibility. We talked about this relating to you. You have to inoculate your audience against counter arguments. You want them to know that you know that there are counter arguments out there and you also want them to know that those counter arguments are not as strong as your argument uh, and you are giving them the ammunition that they need or the defenses that they need if somebody else brings up those counter arguments that they can defend themselves against those counter arguments so you also need five sources five outside sources they need to be documented in your speech and in your outline uh, you need your complete sentence outline to be handed in to me, and um, you need to have a, a visual aid. 
for this presentation. Make sure you are uploading all of the things that you need to upload to Leo on the day that these have to be turned in. So that is Friday of this week, which is November 3rd. So by Friday, these all these things have to be uploaded for you. Please be aware that you have to use a visual aid for this speech. The easiest way to use a visual aid is just like this, to record in a PowerPoint. But if you don't want to do it this way, you don't have to. You can record you know, on your camera, use and, and point and, and use your, your laptop as your visual aid. Or you can go into a classroom and project your PowerPoint and stand in the middle of the room and have someone record you on, on your phone. And that can be how you use your visual aid. But you do need a visual aid for this speech. So I do find this the easiest way to put your face and the visual aid uh, together in one MP4 file. So you then want to submit your speech onto Leo, into Leo. You can upload the speech to YouTube. So you can make this video, you, you make it into an MP4, so you export it at the end, and then you upload it onto YouTube, then put that YouTube URL at the top of your professional outline or your complete sentence outline and submit that on Leo. That way I have the link to your speech and the outline, or you could upload them separately. You could upload the MP4 as the video and then upload the outline separately. Totally fine on Leo. Um, if you are struggling to upload on Leo, please send me an email with the, the things that you need, the MP4 in it. Sometimes those become very hard to do via email, so you have to share the documents with me. And that's fine too. Just make sure you get them in by the due date, November 3rd, no later than 11.59 p.m. So that's a Friday. So just make sure you get it done. Um, you have this week to get it done. This is exactly how we would do it if we would have been um, in, in class. But now, you know, you can present basically to yourself um, in, in your uh, dorm room or in, in the library. So please use this week. If you have questions, please reach out to me. Uh, you can always text me or call me um, or send me an email. So I'm sure these are going to be great speeches, and I am looking forward to hearing them. And if you have any issues, please give me a call or send me an email. Bye-bye.